Hello and welcome to another edition of Siler Design Solutions. My name is John Ofield and today we're going to cover how to create a Revit central model from either a template or an existing project. So as you see here, we have Revit 2019 open, but this works with all versions. Right now we're going to select opening up a new project from a template. Select OK to create that project. So it or uh, from a template or an existing project that you have, you can actually create your um, central model from that. Now the steps are to have the file open, go in and do a save as, make sure you select project or cloud based. We're selecting pro local project because we're going to put this on a server. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is path to that location. So I've got a folder set up and called Revit Projects. You can path this to your Revit Project location. And you want to do this for every project that you have. So here I'm just going to call this my central model here. And you know this is where you can put in the number, name of the project, and so on. So <clears throat> here's our particular um, file. We'll go ahead and hit save. So after that save process is complete, we'll go up to our collaborate tab. And over on the left hand side under manage collaboration, we're going to select this collaborate button here within our ribbon. And this particular dialog box will allow you to pick within your own network, which means your server, um, <clears throat> that local shared environment. And then you also have an option here for BIM 360 if you're working within the Autodesk BIM 360 cloud environment. Select OK. And then once that gets that uh, collaboration kicked in, we can go up to our work sets and verify that our default work sets have come up and been turned on. So we have verified these. Now you can create additional uh, work sets as well. Let's say if we wanted to create one for architectural LinkedIn file, so we call the dark link as it visible in all views. And then you can quickly turn that on and off with in your visibility graphics by having a work set for each of those linked files if need be. Once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK. It says, do you want to make any of those new work sets active? You can select yes or no. And as we see there, work sets up here in our ribbon are active. So the next step is to go back to File, Save As, Project. And we're going to look at our options here to verify that this checkbox is grayed out, but it's also checked. So this tells you this is the central model after we hit Save. Once you're done with that, select OK. Hit save, and this file now becomes your central model. Notice how we don't have the option to save locally anymore, but we do have this new button that allows you to synchronize with the central file that we are in. When you see these two options available, it means you are in the central model and you're ready to get out of this. So all we have to do is just go ahead and close that file out. Now, <clears throat> that particular project, if we go select open and we path to that file, notice how there is uh, down here at the bottom of this dialog box, it says create new local. This means we have actually created our central model and local files would be created for all the users who are working within this central model environment. If you select open now, you're going to see where the extension of the name takes on your username here, how you're logged in, and also this will show up here within our browser as well. So all that information that we see there, of course, stretch that out and you'll be able to see that. So <clears throat> along with this, up in our quick access toolbar, you can see the save button for your local file, also the synchronize that pushes and pulls the information from your local and other people's locals back and forth from that central model. 
Anytime you want to save to that central file from your local, you'll hit that synchronize with central right there. And then verify that it's pathing to the correct project. And then also if you have any check boxes here in the after synchronizing relinquish, you'll want to make sure that these are checked. This makes sure that this information gets pushed all the way back and if somebody else was to utilize or try to modify any of those components, they can do that. Now if this is unchecked and you synchronize, it means that you're keeping that locked to keep that working in your environment. Also at the bottom, we have the save local file before and after synchronization with Central. We want to make sure that that's checked. That way it saves to your local computer and also to the Central at the same time. Once that's done, it synchronizes any possible changes back and forth. So if I was to go up here to my systems, select duct real quick, start drawing with this. And then we come back up and hit our synchronize button, which this button is also located up in your collaborate tab right here. You can actually see how we invoked that user created. It's all great. Hit OK. And this information goes back to the central. Now how we verify that is just simply getting out of that local file and then opening up that central model. <clears throat> when we want to open up that central model, make sure that that local is unchecked for create new local. Do not select this detach from central that breaks it apart and creates a copy. We'll select open and then we should be able to see all the information that's been modified or changed from the users within their local files. This also allows us to come in and take a look at work sharing settings, who's got what checked out, who are the owners of what, and also model updates, work sets, and so on and so forth. So if you want to adjust any of that information, you can see here's the work sets, model updates, who the owners are, and then who's checked out what. So you can see all this information here. Now you can actually come in and change color for people or you know owners, the model updates and work sets. So this is all individual for everybody here. If you don't want to see that, you can just simply come down here, turn off the work sharing display, and that allows you to be able to see either what people have been doing within the project or not. Hope this has helped out. Have a great day. Any questions, please contact us at cattechnical at silerinst.com. Thank you.